first, I want to start with the breaking news out of Iceland. As you can see from these dramatic pictures, there is a new volcanic eruption. It has happened near the town of Grindavik in the southwest of Iceland. You'll remember that this was the same town that was evacuated last month after there was an eruption there. We are told that the lava, which you can see spurting out of that new fissure, is hundreds of meters away now from the town of Gre Grindavik. The people who were there, there were about 90 homes, have been safely evacuated. The local authorities have declared an emergency in the area. I'm going to bring in our reporter, Megan Owen, who is in the newsroom monitoring these pictures. Uh, Megan, dramatic pictures as we can see. Tell us how this unfolded. Incredibly dramatic pictures yet again, Nikki. Uh, we can see glowing orange lava spewing out of that volcano north of Grindavik, and reportedly it's even closer to the fishing village uh, than the eruption back in December. Now, as you mentioned, uh, the residents were evacuated in the early hours of the morning when there was an increase in seismic activity. Uh, local authorities have declared an emergency, and a Coast Guard helicopter is also surveying the scenes. Uh, now, this is not the first time, as you mentioned, that residents have been evacuated. You know, back in December, we all remember those dramatic pictures of the eruption uh, back in Grindavik, and uh, the whole town was evacuated. In fact, around 4,000 residents, and the popular tourist spot, the Blue Lagoon, was also closed. Now, in the time since, those residents have started to come back to their homes. Uh, now, well, once it was declared safer, but now this has put a bit of a spanner in the works. It's the fifth eruption that scientists have seen in the Reykjanes Peninsula in the past three years. They were, they'd started to monitor the increase in seismic activities back in November, uh, and they're going to have to continue to do that now. So there's real concern. I mean, it was a, a shocking and surprising Christmas for many people living in that area back in December, and this will be a pretty uh, surprising start to the new year as well. Yeah, Megan, let us go live to Reykjavik now, where we can speak to Hal Grima Indradisen, who is a journalist with Iceland's public broadcaster, RUV. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, just tell us, um, the alert went out at 3 a.m. in the morning there? Yes, that's true. Then the seismic, um, big seismic activity started uh, close to and underneath, uh, actually, Grindavik. So uh, everybody was uh, evacuated, and uh, since, uh, as you said previously, uh, there were not that many people that were staying there overnight, uh, this took a pretty uh, short time, and so everyone was safely evacuated than uh, when the eruption started just before 8 o'clock this morning. We are seeing the dramatic pictures of that lava, which has been growing in the last hour that we have been watching it. What are the authorities saying about the size of this eruption this time round? Well, uh, compared to the one in December, it's uh, it's not as big uh, as uh, that. That that one was unusually powerful, the most powerful that uh, had taken place since then. Uh, but what is maybe more serious is uh, the location. Uh, this is closer to to Grindavik, and part of and uh, the fissure that formed, it went uh, through the. Uh, uh, fortification that had been uh, built uh, and they have been building these last few weeks which was to, uh, built to prevent uh, lava from running to, uh, from flowing towards Grindavik but then which since part of the fissure is already inside the fortifications uh, and lava is flowing towards Grindavik then that that is a, a pretty uh, serious situation. Yeah so is the concern now that that lava could actually enter into Grindavik and, and, and go over houses, basically, their damage then? Uh, yeah, the uh, geologist, uh, one, one of the uh, geology, geologist of the Icelandic Meteorological Office said this morning that uh, the flow was uh, towards uh, Grindavik and if it would uh, continue in uh, the same speed as it uh, currently is, which, which we don't know for sure, then uh, it would uh, reach uh, the northmost northern part of Grindavik probably uh, within the next 24 hours. 
And what are the authorities saying now about how concerned they are? Well, the authorities uh, are really concerned, but uh, of course everybody is uh, really glad that uh, the people were safely evacuated. Uh, but uh, all these uh, activities, because uh, only yesterday it was decided that the Grindavik would be evacuated from uh, coming Monday, that is tomorrow, because of uh, uh, there were fissures uh, opening uh, throughout uh, throughout the town. So uh, I think uh, pretty much uh, w what the authorities now need to do is just uh, wait and see how things evolve. And uh, uh, maybe the most important thing is to secure uh, proper housing for the uh, inhabitants that had to evacuate uh, their homes. Their future is very uncertain now. OK, the good news, at least they were able to evacuate safely. Hal Grimsma Indrason from RUV Iceland's public broadcaster, thank you very much for joining us.